Hey everybody, welcome back again to Kerbal Space Program. Uh, last episode we launched the beginnings of a space station into orbit, and today we're going to launch some more. So I have taken the time to split up a couple more of my modules for the space station. Uh, I think this is the first one, it's module 2 that we're going to be launching today. Um, this is a really cool robotic arm that's part of the, I think it's on its, is it? Yeah, it's, it's on its own, the robotic arms, I think. It's part of a robotic arm pack. It's actually listed right here. It's the Canada arm, or Canada, Canada, Canad arm. I don't know how you pronounce it. It's part of the International Space Station. They also have the smaller one that's part of the space shuttle. Um, this thing's going to be really useful for maneuvering stuff around once we actually get to the point where we're constructing stuff up there. It's going to be pretty nifty. I couldn't fit my solid rocket booster, the tall one, because it's the only way I could get the payload loaded. It's a little bit off kilter but it's not too bad this thing only weighs four tons the module that we're launching so I think we're gonna have plenty of thrust um, to get this up there and hopefully we'll have some fuel left over I instead of using decouplers I actually use docking ports so if there is fuel left over we can transfer fuel to the, uh, the tug that's up there try to get a little bit of efficiency out of this and well, let's go clear the launch pad probably Crap. Yeah, that's crap from when we launched the tug. So basically, I am hopeful that this is going to work out. Uh, looks like staging is all correct. I probably should have checked that before. But we can. I'm going to go to a lower orbit and then we'll do the rendezvous from there. So let's go like 200 kilometers. And. Setting the target hasn't been doing a darn thing, so I'm not even going to worry about this. One thing I do need to worry about is, did I put SAS on this at all? I did not. I don't know. Hold on, we need to fix that. Because that could end up causing problems. It probably won't, but it could. I basically put SAS modules on anything I'm going to launch because it just makes life a lot easier having the SAS. Why are you doing this straight? Oh, there's a probe body there. I was like, I forgot about that. It's like, why the heck will you not fit correctly? Well, I'm glad I caught that before we launched. It probably wouldn't have mattered, but it could have. All right, so let's engage the autopilot. Everything looks pretty fine and dandy. And to start the engines. Now I put extra of the, uh, the small solid rocket boosters because they are going to uh, burn up pretty darn quick. I haven't used these small ones since like early Kerbal Space Program when that was all there was. But they're going to burn up pretty quick so I put six of them on just to get the extra little boost out of them. Like I said, this thing only weighs four tons, so it's actually lighter than the module that I the, uh, previously launched, so shouldn't be too much of an issue. Gonna be losing our first liquid fuel stage here in a minute. Yeah, this thing is accelerating pretty decently. That stage is gone. Turn starting, excellent. So it looks like everything's going well. I'll just meet you guys once we get a rendezvous going. All right, one fairly major design flaw is that uh, I put mono propellant tanks on here, but I did not put any thrusters. So RCS is not available, which means it takes forever for it to turn. It's going to make rendezvousing a little bit harder. This isn't going to do most of the rendezvousing. It's going to do. Uh, part of it but primarily the uh, the tugs more maneuverable anyway so I plan on doing a lot of that maneuvering with the tug but I need to get this close so we'll see how that goes be back in a second all right well orbit has been achieved now I need to figure out if I want the other ship to come down and pick this up or if I want to uh, I want to handle this uh, where is our fancy dancy space station? It is right there, I think. Hmm. 
wonder how much fuel it has. I have to go back to the tracking center, unfortunately. Mm hmm. Let's take a look and see how much fuel is actually remaining in this thing. Whether or not it will be able to achieve all of my objectives here. As you see, I turned the station around so it's going to be easier to dock stuff. If you face it, um, towards like, you know, one of these directions, 180 degrees, or uh, the North Pole, I mean towards north or basically north or south, it makes it a lot easier to dock stuff because as this goes around the planet, this is going to stay the same, this orientation, so it, it's a pretty handy thing. Um, I feel like about a quarter of a tank left in this thing, but there is fuel on the rocket still. So I think what we're going to do is undock, let's get the RCS on and just kind of ease, actually let's let's do this in a better way even, <laughs> well I don't want to use the rockets that close do I, I don't know, just nudge away ever so slightly. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do like a version 2.0 of this thing that has a little bit better placement of the RCS thrusters. It's all right, but as you can see there, when I was backing up, it was not perfect. All right, so let's get the SAS turned on. Turn off the other thingy. Let's plot our maneuver, and I'll meet you guys when we get down there. All right, well, we are here, and a decent amount of fuel left. Unfortunately, it's pretty dark over here, too, so that's unfortunate, but... Um, let's go ahead and close that, because we don't need that. Take this easy. Try to get lined up here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, so really we want to grab the docking port on the front if we can. I don't know which one it just selected, to be perfectly honest. I was spinning out of control here, just a hair. Suppose I really could not have too many RCS thrusters on something, could I? lock that off we'll swing around here actually we don't want to really lock off that way I kind of want to be 180 degrees turned around and then try to slide sideways yeah, let's do it that way got a good rotation going here nice and easy plenty of mono propellant I'm not concerned about that Let's get kill rotation going here. All right, and nudge forward. And I can't tell which Clampotron it's set up. I hope it's that one. It seems to be that one. Of course, I put a huge array of uh, Clampotrons on the back side of this thing to try to make my life a little bit easier as far as uh, accelerating. But I would have would have been wise to put a few more RCS ports on this thing. But we're swinging around. A little easy does it. All right. Try to get this aligned the way I want. And let's call that close. We're going to kill the rotation. I say, okay, now let's see if we can slide on over. I might get this done. Need to get our rotation back just a, just a smidgen. All 
I have a feeling like that's a pretty good alignment there. So let's just keep on trucking. Double check our docking port. I'm gonna unset and reset just to make sure. All right, we're coming up on our guidance here. Please, SAS, stop. All right, that looks fairly lined up. So let's just keep on sliding over. Scooch. Docking is a slow and tedious business. Come on, man, stop moving that way. I think we killed that. Now, why are you kind of pitching down? All right, you're killing my rotation a little too much here. I'm trying to trying to do this mech jeb. This is why I wanted a lot of RCS for this thing. Alright, so we're getting the dot where it needs to be. Oh god, a little too much, a little too much. A little too much mustard. I to pitch down and over. This is like trying to herd cats a little bit, to be honest. coming too fast. My translation just doesn't work all that well. Kind of slides in a funny sort of way. This might be easier from the co uh, this is not easier from the cockpit. I can see the arm kind of but it's a little bit on the crazy side. Let's slow this down because we don't want to actually collide it a high speed like that. And so we need to kill off a little bit more of that speed. I think we've got this. I just angle the nose up ever so slightly. How far off are we here? Slow it down just a little bit further. Get down to like 0 0.2, maybe even 0.1. I think I feel good if I accomplish this docking on my own here. I have yet to do this in space. Off our target, we're sliding a little bit much that way. That's moving even further out of the way. Right, I'm feeling good about this. Let's slow it down. All right, let's turn off our kill rotation and turn off the SAS. I think we got this. Maybe go down just a smidgen. And... Oh, there it 
are so close. Inch that nose up. I think I got this. I am excited. Docking spacecraft in real life is a really gentle thing. And uh, I'm trying to be gentle here myself because even in this... Oh, I think I just saw the magnet affect it a little. No, the magnet couldn't have affected it yet. We're a little bit off. Let's pitch down and over... Oh, there goes the magnet, and I did it. A manual docking. Yay! Oh, what a relief. What a relief. Now, how much fuel's left in this bad boy? We got a lot left. I probably don't want to transfer over. Well, this is going to be hard. I'm going to do some fuel transferring. I have to, have to keep things balanced. I'm going to get all the RCS fuel out of this. So, uh, I'll be back in a minute. All right, it seems to me like there's going to be enough fuel in this that we're going to be able to top off both these tanks and probably still be able to deorbit that thing and have extra fuel left. So that part of the mission has been a complete success, which I am always happy about. Complete successes are good. And there we go. So yeah, that should be more than enough to deorbit that thing. So I just have to get in a good practice of always doing that. Uh, let's go ahead and, actually, let's go ahead and quick save just in case this goes awry. Let's go ahead and decouple. Alright, so the two ships should be separate now. So first things first, I'm just going to use a teensy burst of RCS to try to pull myself clear. All right, looks like all the str the, the thing I was worried about is whether the struts would break correctly, and they look like they did. So cool. Now we just need to get the actual arm clear. Let's give it a little bit more RCS so we move away at a decent clip here. All right, I am very happy with how that went. Now I'm gonna get this thing swung around ever so slowly because everything always takes forever with this deorbit this thing real quick hopefully I'm going toward uh, that looks like the prograde marker it should be that looks really cool I'm, I'm liking my tug like I said, the version 2.0 that's going to be launched to the MUN, I'm going to deal with the RCS a little bit differently. I'm going to add a few more thrusters, but mainly it works pretty well. That was not that hard to manually dock, and like I I've, don't think I've ever manually... I've manually docked maybe once or twice, so... I've got that done with no mech jeb. Which I'm not going to do for the orbital maneuvers, because those are boring and I don't want to do them. Let's see if this this should be pl yeah look at all that fuel it's still got like a third of a tank that's plenty to deorbit and that's probably close enough to the correct goodbye tugboat close enough to the right vector give it the beans man Alright, so that really didn't use much fuel to deorbit that thing at all, which is awesome. Now, I'm going to do some more boring rendezvous stuff back with the space station, but our tanks are filled up again for uh, the liquid fuel. Didn't get as much RCS as I would like. I might need to bring up more of that at some point, but I'm pleased. Where's our space station at? It's in its orbit here somewhere. Is that it? It is. All right, so I'm going to go rendezvous with that. I'll be back in a second. All right, well, we are here at the station, so I'm trying to figure out which way I want this arm to actually dock. Looks like that's the ladder with the hatches there, isn't it? So I think I actually want to come up this way. Why is it rolling like that? That's annoying. So we're going to come up and try to angle our cell. Oh, the solar panel's right there, so we actually need to come, like, 
thusly, I think, will be the easiest way to do this. I should probably retract those solar panels. To be honest, it would be a lot safer. Am I going to do that? I don't really know. I haven't decided. So turn on kill rotation. Get oriented. Pull on back this way. Oh. Alright, so we're aligned north-ish now too. So now it should just be a matter of A, setting our target. Oh man, is it the one on the top that... It's the one on the top, so we need to actually turn all the way around to 180 degrees as well. We'll do the fine-tuning of where I'm actually going to place this once we get closer and I can see better because I'll hopefully have enough light. Fortunately, like I said, we're on the, the day side of the planet, so that's going to make life a little bit better. So we gotta kill this velocity. Which thruster does which? Now it's just time for the careful, ridiculous dance of actually getting over there. Let's turn off kill rotation because it's kind of confusing me which thrusters I'm firing. We need to go that away. Man, docking. All right, super duper close here. Give it a little nudge. Stressful. Slow that down, let's hit H just a little so we're moving towards it. That arm looks kind of close. I really don't want to collide because spinning is the last thing I need and I cannot control that module at all right now. So and we need to slow down. Almost there, man. Come on. Too much. Oh, God. Moving the wrong way. Moving the wrong way. Man. Oh, God. We're going to collide. There's nothing I can do. The chase cam is not going to help in this case. A lot of people use chase cam to do docking maneuvers, but the reason I don't really want to do that is I feel like I'm not going to be able to see what I'm doing very well because this thing's kind of long. Man, that was close, but we did not get it. Control. What if I control from here? Oh, that makes that a lot better. I thought I was controlling from there. Alright, I am going to use Mech Jeb to do this just because um, this arm is a little unwieldy and I don't feel like dealing with it. Now, please, Mech Jeb, realize that you've got a docking arm there. Alright, we got this. I fiddled around with it longer than I really wanted to, so I came really close to colliding with that um, arm, too. How's our alignment? It looks pretty square. It needs to be probably rotated a smidgen. Try to get things at as close to 90 degrees as possible. And that looks pretty good. Nice. Now 
Yeah, this has been a, a stressful operation. Building a space station is stressful, I'll tell you. We have to top off our mono propellant just a little bit. I am using a lot of it to do this stuff. I wasted quite a bit there, but the docking autopilot seems to have things under control now. I got it lined up close, I gotta say that, but let Mech, that's how I'm gonna be handling this probably, is just let Mech Jeb do the actual docking because I am really worried about crashing stuff into each other. And we are gonna have contact here. Magnets, bam, yes. Awesome. Let's turn on the SAS to stop this crazy rotation that started. Back off. It's kind of dangerous to leave uh, SAS on because there's two SAS modules and they don't get along very well for some reason. Like the whole thing gets kind of wobbly. Look at it. They're working against each other, I guess is why. But as long as that spin is stopped, we're good. A little time warp. Okay, cool. First module of the new space station is installed. Now this arm is really cool actually, um, oh god, why am I doing that? Let's disengage those engines, I didn't mean to do that. How much did that screw up my orbit? A little bit, that's unfortunate. Gotta remember not to do that, gotta be very careful with your engines and stuff. I'll fix it later off camera, but... Alright, so lock that back off. Anyway, this arm is really nifty. Uh, I'm not really going to have much to do with it. Why is the camera not showing up? Do I need to switch to the other module? Why are you not working correctly? Well, hopefully when we have the station crewed, that will work right. I don't know why that's not working right. Maybe I have to just reload the... Uh, from the thing but anyway we got another module to deal with I'm gonna transfer some mono propellant from the station even though that's really supposed to be for station use only so let's get these tanks topped off all right and I'll be back in a couple minutes with the next launch okay so I believe my modifications have been made the next section is gonna be two solar arrays now I have an idea about this I don't know how it's gonna work but the tugboat has two docking ports it has one in the back one on the, well, it technically has three, but there's two for hauling stuff. There's one on the back and one on the front. There's one on the bottom for just regular docking. Um, I'm gonna decouple one of these, uh, or undock it rather, once we get up there. Put it on the back side on this docking port, and then we'll swing the ship around, and we'll do the same thing with this one. Transfer fuel out of the tanks, of course, before we ditch this thing. I put an extra mono propellant tank on because I don't think the weight's going to matter too much for this because this thing's fairly light as well. So I believe we'll get a decent amount of fuel up there again. So let's go ahead and save the changes. The only thing I'm really worried about is these two things splaying apart and kind of blowing up while we're on the way out of the atmosphere. I added a lot of struts to try to help that from happening, uh, but I don't know if it's going to work. So we'll see, I guess. Because those docking points are pr ports are pretty uh, wiggly. I don't want to use a lot of decouplers because I have to actually be able to dock to this to get fuel back out of it. Um, so I need a docking port that is clear. And I don't want to use one of the stack decouplers that would allow the docking port to be clear. Because that's going to leave debris in orbit, which I would like to avoid doing. So we're going to set this to 200 kilometers again. Uh, where is our station? Is that the station? Yeah, it keeps calling it service tug. It's kind of annoying because I guess because that's the manned portion. It changes the name back and forth all the time, which is a little bit annoying. So yeah, let's engage our autopilot. And I'm just making sure our staging looks correct, which it does. And we're ready to go. Right, how wobbly are we? That's not too bad at all. I'm I'm a little bit encouraged by this. So this is the same launch platform that I've been using for all this stuff. So we'll skip the launch. I'll keep recording, but I'll edit it out unless anything crazy happens. So 
hopefully I'll see you guys in orbit. Well, this is the stage that I'm going to be nervous about here. Um, almost out of liquid fuel for that section, so there's going to be less strutage. And did it get more wobbly? It got a, maybe a little bit more wobbly, but we're mostly out of the atmosphere, so... It's not going to be too much of a problem, I think. We're up in the very thin part when that happens, so... I think... Ooh, it's kind of wobbling more now. Time warp and this are not going to get along, so we're not going to do that. So, uh, if everything keeps going well, I'll hopefully see you when we get our rendezvous going. Alright, well, we have arrived at our destination. Let's let MechJeb finish up this. Now, i got to think about how I want to go about this. I think I may have... This is going to be some fairly delicate docking. I don't even think I'm going to bother to try to do it myself. I'm trying to decide if I should dock the back or the front first. I think I'll probably dock... Set the target. I think what I will do is... We will control from here. And set that. And let's see if we can get this done. I do not even feel like screwing with this. Because there is a lot of potential for disaster on this. So I uh, better let the computer handle this. We're going to be in the... Now we're still on the light side. We have we have some time till the sun's going to set. Just wanted to make sure. Stuff's a lot better if the sun is up. Hopefully it's controlling from the right docking port. I'm not real sure how well these things are going to work being so close to each other like that. I hope it will work out. Definitely hoping it will work out. Now, even if you're not going to let the autopilot do the docking, this is incredibly useful. It gives you all the axis uh, speed differences which is very, very, very useful information for getting docking completed. I can't believe I didn't notice that that was there before. So when I do my manual docking, I'm going to be using this too, just because it is a much better way to handle docking, in my opinion. MechJeb, in addition to being a really good autopilot, is a really good tool just because it gives you a lot more information than the actual game gives you. The game is not very good about telling you everything you need to know. I guess it really doesn't matter which one it chooses first. What if I just dock them both onto the... Yeah, I could have probably just chained them together and docked them onto the back now that I think of it. It's kind of... Well, it's not too late to change my mind. We can change our mind. RCS, let me change my mind. I think having this more as a train is probably a good idea. So, let's control from here, actually turn off this flip around and I need to make sure that I have my engines arranged correctly here too because otherwise uh, it's not really gonna work out so well we have a collision I'll call that good get our I'm gonna rotate this way for whatever reason would you not to me that just seems like the right way to rotate Let's get the docking autopilot re-engaged. I think it'll, it makes more sense to do this as just a big old train. Uh, probably be a little har hard to handle at the actual space station this way for the docking and actually installing these parts, but I think it will work. I think it will work. I don't know how unwieldy it's going to be. I want to get my rotation in a little bit better. This tugboat has worked out very well. I'm actually extremely pleased with this tugboat. Why did the music just stop suddenly like that? Did I turn down the volume on my headset by mistake? I sure did. The music didn't stop. I'm worried that something was wrong. Music stopping suddenly like that's usually not good, but 
it was just my headset. It has like a little audio adjustment switch thingy on it. And it hit my desk. It's at the exact right length that it can hit my desk, which is kind of annoying. It's a nice headset other than that, but and they couldn't have foreseen that happening. All right, so once we dock, I'm going to do the fuel transfer first, I think, and then we'll uh, then we'll pull out and then redock. And I am still deciding how I want to do this. If I want to do it as a train or what. I think the train method makes the most sense. These things aren't very heavy. My RCS power is mostly up front. So I'll probably be a little easier to maneuver that way. It looks very dramatic with the sun there like that. It's very epic. Even MechJeb approaches at ridiculously slow speeds. I don't really have good spotlights on the back of this. I just put those little red lights on because I like how they look. It's kind of like brake lights. I think those either came with the home, uh, the home module. What is it? Bobcat home build. I don't remember. Home something. Uh, starter pack, or they came with the B9 aerospace. Is that thing going to be out of electricity? None of its solar panels are facing the right way. And its mech jeb is on. Well, it'll charge up when we plug in here, at least. So that doesn't really matter. But its solar panels are all on that part, and they're angled away from the sun, because I angled it towards the planet to make this docking a little bit simpler. But... I didn't think about the solar panels. How are we looking here? Is it going for the correct port? It is. Now hopefully when we separate this stuff, nothing's gonna collide. I'll probably like go off that way a little tiny bit too. Like forward and over there. I thought about doing two separate launches for these solar panel arrays, but they're so light I just didn't really think it was worth the extra time. To do another launch. Plus, I like to do things in fancy, complicated fashions. Alright, now we have this crazy, elaborate thing going on here. I am going to do some fuel transferring and then I'll be back. Alright, so we have everything topped off tank wise. Now, let's go ahead and decouple the node. Alright, so that is separate and it's all wobbly. Did all of the struts disconnect correctly? I can't tell. Let's move... Let's turn off the SAS. And turn on the RCS. And I always forget which direction is... That's the wrong way. Go that way and then... Give it the beans here a little bit. Alright, that worked out just about like I wanted. I think, except, yeah, we're clear. So let's go forward, and I still have not decided how I want to handle this solar panel thing. I think what I'm going to do is control, control from here, I'm going to set the target as that. And let's just get out of the way, far enough away that MechJev ha- oh, it's wobbly. This is going to be really wobbly. Try to pitch up here a little bit and over. Yeah, this is an ungainly, crazy kind of machine here. And I'm going to work on deorbiting that other one like right away because I don't want anything crazy happening with that. Like it running out of power. I guess eventually it would come around and face the sun again. But. Get a little bit more juice here. I want to get a decent enough distance away that there's time to line everything up. We 
Definitely got our wobble on. All right, let's see what it can get done here. It's very dark. I apologize for that. I think it's going to be able to do this. I, I am very hopeful. Then we're going to have to do all this back at the station again, too, which is going to be great. You know what? Actually, let's abort that. I do want to flop around. RCS, I need you. I think this will be easier to do this way. Let's control from here. Is that how floppy that is already with just one of those? I do not want to be dealing with both of them. So let's just swing around, kick this end out, just slow it down a little bit. Let's, now we have headlights too, so we can actually see. Okay, let's hope, hope and pray. We'll charge up the battery on that thing and make sure that it's good to go too. I definitely don't like leaving space junk. The space junk that I've left thus far has really bothered me. Yeah, this is a more reasonable way to do this for sure. Uh, it's having a little bit of trouble getting our direction right. I guess I had, I did impart a lot of speed on this thing, so it'll, it'll get it sorted out. I wish I had brighter lights on the back. It's gonna. We're gonna have to do that in the daytime side, so I know which way the solar panels are. Yeah, they're kind of squared up. Not quite though. So I do want to get my solar panels arranged as correctly as possible on the space station. So we have to be careful about that. Well, this delivery system worked pretty well. I gotta say. I wasn't sure I was gonna get both of them up here, but that worked about as well as I could have hoped. The stocking system works really well in this game, I gotta say, too. I left shields on these docking ports because uh, for all the docking ports on the station that aren't going to be occupied normally by a, uh, a component of the space station, I'm going to have shielded docking ports where ships are going to dock and stuff. They probably won't often dock on these because... Um, these are near the solar panels, and I don't really want to crash into the solar panels when I'm docking. But um, I, I don't have any doc Docotron Juniors on this thing, which I kind of want in case I build any small, really small craft. Have to figure that out. Well, we've got this thing picked up in a second here. Huh. <sighs> Yeah, I, I really did focus all my lights forward. That was a mistake. I didn't think I was going to be carrying stuff on the back very often. I just put that there because, well, I needed something on the back. And it seemed like a better idea to have a docking port there than nothing. Because I knew there would be times I would need to do stuff like this. Yeah, look, how, look at that. It's lined up perfect. We got this. You can give it a little bit more juice here, Mechjub. Mechjub's trying to counteract me, adding more speed. I'm in a hurry here, man. Alright, we're going to have contact in a few milliseconds here. Not really milliseconds. That's still far enough away. It's going to take a minute. Come on, magnets. Come on, magnets. Oh, 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 there they go, I saw it twitch, yeah, that, yay, oh, yay, I don't know what that noise was about, I guess it was just the engines telling me they're active, so, the batteries on that thing are definitely almost charged up, let's wait until that gets, all the batteries are full. This ship, that the tugboat that I built, has two generators on it. I didn't want to deal with solar panels on my ships. So I think all my uh, actual starships are just going to have some of those 
radio thermal whatever generators on them so that it makes life a little bit easier. Now we can decouple this node. And we can get back to controlling this. Now I don't have any RCS on this thing, so I actually should go nudge this away just a hair. Annoying me that the RCS keeps turning off. Oh, you're going the wrong way, man. Just nudge it away. There we go, nice and safe now. Now this thing turns like a piece of crap. Is that my that's my pro grade marker there, isn't it? Turn man, turn. It does not have any RCS fuel. Yeah. Oh, why are we moving towards that thing again? No, 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 no. Let's get a good amount of distance. We don't need a collision here. That was a little nerve-wracking. I don't know if the magnetic uh, stuff picked it back up. What is that over there, I wonder? I don't know. Turn. Alright, well, I'm going to just deorbit this, and I'll be back once we get the rendezvous done. Because this is going to take forever like this. Alrighty, so we have arrived at the space station. I think I actually want to try to use the arm to do this stuff because I was thinking about how wiggly these things were on the flight over here and how I want to actually get them at the correct alignment. So let's go ahead and control from here. And we're going to dock there, hopefully. Um, because I think this is going to make life a little bit easier for me because I can just get the robotic arm clipped on here and then we can... Uh, What's it called? Let's get our rotation. Whoa. This is a little weird docking like this. But um, what I'm thinking is, if we get that robotic arm going, we can unclip, undock these, and then we'll just be able to slip them right in like they're supposed to go. And it'll be a lot simpler than trying to do this, because if you look here, well, of course they're not wobbling bad now, but they wobble really bad. And I would really prefer to not run into issues with that, so it seems simpler to just dock. Assuming that this will work out. I've never used this bottom docking port before. How do I get the ship to roll the way that I want it to? I bet if I go to docking controls and we do like... Is it... I'd like it to be parked kind of evenly. That looks pretty close. We'll call that good. I'm glad I have this bottom docking port. I had this docking port here to actually park this ship permanently when it's not being used. And it seems like it's going to actually be pretty useful. So this design is pretty good. I need to, for the next one that I launched, like I said earlier, I need to go in and add a couple more RC, RCS ports and figure out where the center balances and try to make sure I have the RCS points actually ports arranged around that because they're not quite balanced now. It's pilotable and uh, it seems to work okay, but I could do a little bit better, I think. I think that sticks out far enough that it's not going to collide with the station, which is important. Not colliding with the station is a good thing. It's kind of the interesting thing about doing these space stations. When I do the lunar based, I mean, uh, yeah, the lunar based stuff, um, I actually build all that stuff on Kerbin. I built this whole assembly in the vehicle assembly bay, and then I split it up the space station. But you don't really know how it's going to function out here, because you know any number of things could end up happening. But I don't know. It's kind of nifty. It's stressful though. It's a lot of work. Even with MechJeb, like, I've been at this for probably an hour and a half or something, all in all. And even more than that, designing everything, so. A lot of time commitment here. This is looking pretty promising. Now, the only question is whether the robotic arm is going to work or not. I don't know if I have to have anybody actually in the command pod over there 
It wasn't working last time I tried to use it, um, but that very well could be because I did not uh, have anybody over there, or I might need to go to this, the tracking center and then reload, because sometimes things don't work right like that. This thing's unpowered right now, but it's going to have tons of power in a second. Because we have the two generators on this, there's a lot of batteries, and then we can unfurl more solar panels. I guess it's, I mean, it's powered, it has that, but it has batteries and whatnot too, so it should be in good shape. I keep trying to balance the ship here because the RCS is not quite right. It's these ports here that are messing me up, I think. The center of mass is somewhere right in here. I think it's right in here, and I think these ports are a little bit too close to that. They should be farther back, but since they can't be, I think I'll have to just double up on the ones over there. Actually, the problem is there's no linear port on that arm. I thought there was. I can see right there. It can't fire this way. I thought I put a linear port on there. All right, this is looking pretty sweet, man. And this ship, when it's docked, is usually going to be docked like this on the docking array which is for another launch yeah this is gonna work out nice alright getting close for magnetiness keep my pitch going here I think we're square-ish to it it doesn't have to be perfect but it will look better the closer it is how are we doing for fuel and whatnot used up a lot of mono propellant and whoa station calm down all right we docked cool and it's good and stable nice Whew. now can I activate the arm no it still doesn't have the little thing there so I think what we're gonna do let's go ahead and deactivate that I'm going to go to the space center real quick Go back to the tracking center, see what happens when we actually select this thing. Because that arm, it worked on the ground. Why would you fail me, arm? There it goes. Okay. Yeah, I did have to reload for whatever reason. Are all the station lights? That's all the station lights we got. Let's turn everything off and then turn it back on so it's synced correctly. Oh, well, that gives us a little more light. The little light's on there. Definitely got a lot of sunlight. So, this thing is confusing as heck to use. There's like 80 bajillion controls. Alright, that is doing what? That is just moving the end of the arm. So, uh, let's go for this side first, I guess. It makes a very annoying noise, but it's a super awesome tool. Actually, I'm going to extend this up high so we can get the arm out. The only th feature I really wish it had was a parking mode because once you extend this thing, it doesn't go back to where it was, which is actually fairly annoying. All right, which does which? That's doing all that stuff. Which extends the arm? That does, okay. So this is going to be a little bit on the finicky side to do this, but... I think it's probably simpler than trying to dock all this stuff. Let's get this squared off. I think this thing's really cool, to be honest. So I want to leave enough play in this arm that we have a lot of room to move. So let's go like out here. And that moves up and down, so call that good right about there. You know, I should probably save this just in case. Now how do I move this arm? Which one of you goes... No, that's that one. That's tilty. That is also tilty. I did that one already. That's up and down. That's also kind of up and down. Okay, there we go. Let's get the magnet going here. And I don't want to grab the solar panel specifically because um, that could damage it. It's a 
very confusing to use. I'm trying to find a spot where it's just trusses. We're definitely not going to hurt the truss. That's too much at the solar panel again. Keeps going for that downward solar panel there. How close are we? Extremely close. Uh, trust piece, okay. I need to move this whole thing thusly. Magnetize. So we grab the truss. So now I should be able to undock this thing. And it should be able to be moved now, right? Why are we spinning? Why are we spinning? Well, you know what? We'll fix the spinning later. Let's just... The physics in this game are a little bit wonky at times. All right, don't collide with the engine, please. All right, we got that away. Whoa, everything's getting kind of bouncy. Maybe this wasn't easier. So please stop spinning. Let's turn on the SES for one second. I just get nervous at how wobbly everything's getting. So, we can probably just rotate this thing around. So I'm actually gonna probably just edit at this point because it's gonna take a little bit of time here. So I'm just gonna edit. I'll be back when we get this thing close to where it needs to be. You get the idea generally. All right, we are super close with a dock here. Super duper close. The magnets are, are touching. Just gotta be careful. Get this swung down this way, I think. It's probably going to have to back up just a little bit too, because they're glitching through each other right now. Wrong way. Also wrong way. This is scary stuff, man. Okay, there we go, there we go. They're touching, they're touching. So it'll probably take like the teensiest, tiniest adjustment here. Look at that. So close. Still learning these controls. And every time you move, since the mass, of the, I think it's due to the mass of the station not being very high, um, the whole station kind of wigs out a little bit. But it's all right. It's been working. All right, well, let's just try disconnecting this. We can grab it again, hopefully, if we need to. How's the alignment? Eh, the alignment's not that good. I'm going to twist it like... Did it just dock? No, it didn't. It kind of felt like it did. And the alignment is still off. Let's demagnetize and see what happens. Get this arm away. Alright, it docked, but it's crooked. Darn it! I have to fidget with this a little bit more to get that sorted out. But the docking arm thingy works. It's pretty cool, actually. So I'll be back when I get all of this done because this is going to take a while. Hey guys, well, I have assembled what we're going to assemble today. As you can see, the solar panels aren't quite straight. I got them as straight as I could. I got sick of trying to deal with that. So I'll probably fix them a little better later, but it'll do for now. Uh, I think that's pretty much going to do it for this episode, in fact. And uh, next time, I think we're going to take a break from space station stuff and try to get a space shuttle working. So um, I'm going to start working on building something like that so that we can get some crew up here. Because right now, uh, we just have these two guys and they're in charge of this thing. So I'd like to get a crew transferred up here of at least maybe six guys that can hold ten. 
but or no, it can hold. It can hold eight. Ten. Wait, four, four. Yeah, they can hold ten. Ten crew members. So, uh, I do want to have a crew of ten up here. So, we're gonna go ahead and get some crew transferred up here. I'll straighten the solar panels when I have more mono propellant because I'm kind of running out now. So I'm just gonna let that be for now. But uh, yeah, we got a little space station going on. Let's turn on the lights, even though the headlights on the. Uh, let's wait for everything to turn on. There we go. Even though the headlights are a little bright on that thing. But uh, anyway, I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.